Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about an interesting topic that is Cladney patterns. What are Cladney patterns? Cladney pattern is the nodal pattern formed on a plate when an external driving source is given to make the plate vibrate. So basically, these are the geometrical patterns formed on any vibrating surface. On a horizontal plate, Cladney put some fine sand and then give the plate a certain frequency of vibration at some point. As a response, all the points on the plate start to vibrate, but each point vibrates with a different amplitude. Particularly, there are some points that are always stand still. Therefore, the sand at the neighborhood moves towards the silent points. So the points which are always still are known as silent points and the neighborhood sand will move towards the uh, silent points which is how a sand pattern is created on a vibrating surface. So for a same plate the pattern varies with the frequency. So as we go on changing the frequency of sound the plate starts vibrating and different kind of patterns sand patterns are formed on the plate. We know that sound propagates through waves in solid, gas or liquid medium. But we didn't always know this. In the later 1700s, a German scientist named Ernst Cladney was the first to show that sound travels via waves by devising a way to visualize their vibrations. So in the beginning, we didn't know the fact that sound propagates in waves. So this was visualized by Ernst Cladney for the first time in 1700 through the demonstration of Cladney's pattern. How it works? The shape of a Cladney plate can be square, rectangular, circular or even it can be shaped like a violin or a guitar body as long as it has fixed constraint at the center. So a Cladney plate may be of any shape but it should have a fixed constraint at the center. The plate is dusted with a material in order to see the patterns. So when the plate starts vibrating, we need to visualize the patterns formed on the plate. To visualize the patterns formed on the plate, we need to sprinkle sand, floor or even salt. Next, the plate is excited by drawing a violin bow across the side of the plate until it reaches resonance. Now every plate or every material will be having its own natural frequency. When a violin bow is moved across the plates, what happens is the frequency of the violin bow matches with the frequency of the plate. So resonance occurs and the plates start vibrating with greater frequency and then the stand, a sand also starts vibrating and cladney patterns are formed on the plate. When the plate is excited, some areas vibrate and some areas do not vibrate. More specifically, you are able to see the standing waves along the nodal lines of the plate. The sand moves away from the antinodes where the amplitude of the standing wave is maximum. So at the amplitude at the antinodes normally the amplitude of the standing wave is maximum and toward the nodal lines where the amplitude is minimum. So forming patterns known as Cladney figures. So it's just moving from higher amplitude to lower amplitude. So this forms a Cladney patterns on the plate. So this is a simple image of a Cladney pattern. So these type of different patterns will be formed based on the different frequencies given to the plate. What is a Cladney plate? So a Cladney plate consists of a flat sheet of metal, usually circular or square, which will be mounted on a central stalk to a sturdy base. When the plate is oscillating in a particular mode of vibration, the nodes as well as anti-nodes that are set up form complex but symmetrical patterns over the surface of the plate. So when the plate is oscillating or when the plate is vibrating, particular mode of vibration, nodes and antinodes are formed and due to this symmetrical patterns are created over the surface of the plate. The positions of these nodes 
and anti nodes can be seen by sprinkling sand upon the plates or even salt will do the sand will vibrate away from the anti nodes and gather at the nodes so due to this certain geometrical patterns are formed and the node and anti node differs based on the frequency given to the plate so based on this different geometrical patterns can be formed on the plate so this is a simple diagram of cladney plate all objects including cladney plates have a set of natural frequencies at which they vibrate a system such as standing waves in a musical instrument tends to vibrate at certain discrete frequency called as natural frequency once vibrating at a certain frequency a structure deforms into a corresponding shape the eigen mode or it is also known as a natural mode a plate is a continuous system that shows natural frequencies or eigen frequencies that depends on geometry and material property and constraint so it also depends on what is the geometry of your plate material and other constraints so visualizing sound has applications in many areas such as furniture placement in a room and analysis of fluid filled pipes visualizing sound can even help building engineers design a concert hall so the acoustics of a building do not interfere with a violinist masterful rendition so these are some of the interesting applications of cladney figures by studying sounds vibrations wave forms wave lengths speed and other properties we can better understand how to manipulate and reproduce sound as well as account for its physical effects in designs so this is all for today thank you